Hey guys, Mason here from the Cardiverse, back at it with another tutorial in Filmora. Today I'm going to be showing this cool mask effect that you can add in Filmora. So to import this media, we can't just import it into the first time like normal. We, so what we have to do is grab hold of the footage, and it can, this, has, um, this, can be, this has to be a image, I'm sure it should work with a video as well. But you simply pull down, it will give you an option in the first timeline, then just drag down an extra bit more and it will place and just place the video in the second timeline. Now we can just drag this across here. Now, like you can see, there'll be an options at the top of the screen. Options that would not be there if you were in the t in the if you added the videos in the first timeline. As you can see, these options change. Now we move them to the second timeline. Just here, now like you can see we have this option. We need to choose the advanced edit option. We simply click on this and like you can see it will bring up a mas mask. So we can just choose a mask that we'd like. Um, I might choose just this circle for now. So we just double tap on the circle and we can edit these options. There are options like you can edit the width and the height. On this one you can and then you can edit like the length the, uh, like on the left and then if we edit the height so let's just move this a tiny bit we can edit the top as well so like you can see we get many options to try and edit our clip how we like it so like you can see we can just move across many options and edit our video as we please this is a very useful option, like if you're wanting to just zoom in on a certain option, like you might want to just select a single clip, you can make it sort of zoomed in on this one point. So if I quickly make a very small circle, um, and there we go, like you can see we have sort of a sort of circle shape there, we can edit where we want to place it. Let me just change it. As you can see now, we can just add the circle in any one position and sort of show where we would like. I don't know. You figure it out for yourself, honestly, just how you would like to edit with using this effect. This is Then you have many options, so we can also use many other options. So let me just cancel out and go back in real quick. So now we have a love heart option. We can edit the width, the height, just as we please. Okay, that is what I wanted to share in this video. If you enjoyed it, like, why not leave a like? If you learned something new, just, like, drop a like on this video. If you're new, maybe even subscribe if you're feeling like it. Like, no harm done. It helps me and you're helping yourself. Really? So that is what I wanted to share in this video tutorial. If you enjoyed it, like I said, just leave a like or subscribe, but for now, I will see you later. See ya!